Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. This 2011 Jaguar XF is called a high luxury and it comes with many additional features to the standard car. It's metallic black with black leather interior and it's done 154,000 kilometres since new. It's got the petrol V6 engine, which sounds absolutely fantastic. It's also got a sunroof, navigation, reverse camera, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth streaming for music as well. It's got two remote keys, keyless entry and keyless start. The high luxury also came with these beautiful alloy wheels and Xenon headlamps. I have driven the car and it drives beautifully. Every service up to the most recent service has been carried out at a Jaguar dealership. It looks like a one owner car from new and is very good. I believe a lot of the driving has been done on the freeway. Um, when the car came in it, it said its average fuel consumption was about 10 litres per 100 kilometres which is very low. I know a lot of people like to buy diesel XFs you know, because of the fuel consumption, but if you can get 10 odd litres per 100 kilometres out of a petrol, I don't honestly know why you'd bother. The petrol is a lot smoother and it's got a very consistent torque or power band. I think it revs all the way up to about 7,000 RPM. And as I said, it does sound fantastic. I haven't actually, I've driven a lot of 3 litre uh, petrol S types and a Discovery but I hadn't driven the XF and I was very surprised, it was absolutely beautiful to drive. It's got the very nice walnut timber inserts. It's got electric seats, memory driver's seat, um, when you open the Glove box you should use this touch touch the timber here, but people found it a bit difficult to find so now it's just got a proper button. There's the books. As I said it's got two keys. The sunroof I mentioned, navigation. It really is a stunning car. I've said before and I'll I'll say it again, I really do think these XS have one of the nicest interiors I've seen on a motor car. They're absolutely stunning and they'll age very well. But when you consider it to a BMW or a Mercedes or an Audi, to me there's no comparison. It's also got the Xenon headlights as I mentioned. You can tell because it's got this little chrome section here which actually comes out and sprays the, the front of the car, the headlights. It's a requirement in this country because if you get um, dust on the headlamps on the outside here and you've got your Xenon lights on it can dazzle drivers coming the other way and can be dangerous so it is a standard fitment. The other thing we haven't seen is a black with black leather interior. A lot of them are grey, silver and have light interiors so we thought it was, uh, we thought it was quite special coming in this colour combination. It is a proper 2011 model. As I said, it's just done some Ks, it's, you know, some extra kilometres because it's been on the freeway. It's got an electric handbrake and it's overall a very impressive car. I'll start it up. It's also another good thing about these XFs, so to start it, I've got the key in my pocket, press this button down here. There we go. The air conditioning opens up. It's got the reverse camera I mentioned. This, you can tell the sunroof is factory fitted by this button here. See the colours? If it was aftermarket, which a lot of them are, um, it certainly wouldn't look like that. That warning's there to say the, the battery and the key is a little bit low, which is fine. We can change that. This is for the 
gear stick, so reverse, drive, sport, simple as that. You turn it off, and that's your handbrake there. I actually drove it home last night as we picked it up yesterday. I was driving along and I was thinking to myself, you know, really what would be better value than a 2011 Jaguar XF with all this gear, these options, for under $30,000? I was thinking about BMWs and Mercedes and what they would be asking. And uh, yeah, I think they're, they're incredible value for money. They're also very reliable, economical as I mentioned earlier, and they have presence. And to me are just a lot more interesting than uh, you know, your standard BMW 5 Series and E-Class Mercs. We sell quite a number of Jags in the background, we've got an XJ8, we've got a beautiful little S-Type there as well. and. Uh, the reason why we're buying a lot of these Jaguars is they are very reliable for us. And for us as a dealer, that's important. We don't want to be selling cars, um, you know, which have issues. This car is going to, I think it's due for a service in terms of time. It is going today for a service at a Jaguar specialist nearby. And we'll be back very soon. But uh, if you've been looking around for a car under $30,000, especially for a sedan like this one. I think you should definitely come and have a look at this car. It's very impressive. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. Our location is Marrickville, and we're about 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thanks again for watching.